ready for VIP Fest. Yes, yes, yes. Tomorrow's the day. VIP Fest. Yo, what is good, everybody? Welcome back to another episode. So today we're going to be heading out to San Diego to VIP Fest. Uh, pretty much I'm just getting the Lexus packed uh, ready to go. It's currently 6, like 6.30 in the morning. Pretty much got to be out there by 10. So it's going to be like a two and a half hour drive. So pretty much, like I said, just getting it ready and about to head out. So let's get on our way. Oh, yeah. Also, sheesh, let's get it. All right, guys. So I made it. First time here. So far, good turnout right now. We're just waiting in line to get in. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty much a long line. Show doesn't start till 12, so should be good. But um, yeah, I'll get back to you guys once I actually get in, get stationed, get set up, and then um, I'll get back with you guys. But we made it. All right, what's up, guys? We are out here at Auto Fashion. Pretty much see what we got out here. <clears throat> nice LS430. Clean. Got this Acura right here. LS400. Got this Infinity. Got the Z.
it's currently the next day. Uh, VIP Fest was a success, man. I saw uh, pretty much a lot of people that I actually talked to on Instagram in person, finally got to meet each other in person. So that was pretty much dope, bro. So uh, if I ran into you guys in person, much love, man. Your guys' builds are fucking crazier in person than it is on Instagram. Um, if you guys did see the build, you guys have pictures of it, feel free to hit me up on Instagram at VIPLS underscore 430 and uh shoot it to me i'll make sure i give you guys a shout out but um yeah so let's go over <laughs> pretty much what happened all right so uh i'm gonna turn the camera around and then we'll go over that all right so i'm officially a liberty vip member man you see the auto fashion festival sticker on there you see the liberty vip plate on there man hard work dedication grinding man also what happened is i'm getting ready to leave vip <laughs> auto fashion and uh yeah i get on the freeway and yep pretty much you see how i'm rolling so uh the rim itself is right here nothing damaged on the outside a little bit of grinding on the inside but you know what i could just pretty much grind that down from the looks of it, it doesn't look like nothing got uh bent as soon as it happened that pretty much pulled over so uh what happened on that most likely from what i know is that the tire um got debeated because as you can see tire's still good so pretty much it got debeated somewhere i'm thinking of when i aired out um air was leaking because when i was when i left the event um everything was fine so when i left the event excuse the mess pretty much all that stuff was getting you know yeah anyways when i left the event everything was fine um but when i got on the freeway coming around the turn to get on the freeway uh that's when i felt the grinding and i already knew exactly what it was so i pulled over and yeah found out that the tire became debated and i mean something told me i should have i did check the tires before i left the event so pretty much it, um the tire pretty much uh was getting low while i was aired out i'm thinking it was just too much weight on the car itself so that's pretty much what happened but um like i said nothing's everything's cool um as far as the rim goes the inner portion all you just pretty much just grind that uh Grind that down, flatten that out. Um, so I'm gonna take it to the rim shop maybe tomorrow to get this checked out to see, make sure it's not leaking, get it filled back up and be good to go. But um, yeah, man, yesterday was a success. The Lexus drove fine uh, as expected to uh, drove fine. Just that pretty much driving two and a half hours back home on the stock wheel. Um, which performed okay, even though, you know, the uh, the fronts are 20s. Even though I had this 18 right here, I didn't feel a difference. I just drove with the car, aired all the way up. So, yeah. But, um, yeah, it was dope. Auto Fashion was dope. That was my first time there. Uh, I will be going again next year. Um, like I said, I did get plated. So, shout out to my team, man, Liberty. Uh, shout out to my boy. I'm going to leave his Instagram right here. Definitely came in clutch. Because, man, um, when it happened, I didn't have nothing with me. All I had was my spare. I didn't expect to uh, have a flat tire. So I reached out to him on Instagram. He hit me up right away. Hey, bro, I got you. Came through, jacked the car up. We changed the tires. And I was back on my way in, like, less than, like, 10, probably, like, 10 minutes, bro. I was back on the freeway. So, um, yeah, that was dope. But, um, yeah, if you guys are new to the channel, man, make sure you guys smash that like button, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think of the video. Um, but yeah, I will be dropping a, a single video uh, just for the car itself. I just gotta find the perfect day, perfect time to do it. But I will be dropping a video like that, uh, the car by itself. Um, but yeah, uh, hit me up on Instagram. If you guys don't, it's VIPLS underscore 430. Till next time, I'll catch you guys. Much love.